Hey YouTubers, Grimmy here, and today we're taking a look at the Creo Grimlock Unleashed building set, which is um, actually one of the first uh, Creo builds I've ever made. <laughs> um, you know, I picked this up uh, during a um, has like a Transformers event at Toys R Us this past weekend when the movie came out. Yeah, I figured I'd build, after building it, I'd review it. Um, originally, I was going to actually build it on camera, but I had a model kit that I was trying to do previously the same way, and it took way too long. I don't think I'm going to be building on camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but anyway, we got Grimlock here, and we got the five Creons he comes with. So why don't we get to it? Now before we get into um, the big guy himself, let's take a look at these little Creons that it comes with. Um, you got Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Lockdown, Galvatron, and Grimlock. Yeah, I know. Little Grimlock, Big Grimlock. <laughs> um, you also got this little Creo display stand that you can use for one of them. Which is a nice thing. I wish it came with one for each Creon, but pretty cool and all the same. Um, the crayons are actually very highly detailed. Let's see if I can get this in. So you can see the paint apps are really done well on the legs and the chest. So you got a lot of detail here. The face is done pretty nicely too. Uh, it has a removable helmet. If I can get it to come off. The helmets do stand, stand, um, tend to stick to the heads. As you can see, under that helmet is still a nicely painted face. And with Grimlock, you also get a crown accessory. Oops. So you can actually make him King Grimlock if you want. Of course, I think the regular helmet looks a lot better than the crown. And I kind of wish they just made a crown that fits on that helmet. But for articulation, these guys are all the same. You got the left, right. Come on, focus on them, would ya? Yeah, you got the left, right movement at the head. Ball jointed shoulders. wrist swivels, waist swivels, and ball jointed hips. For these little guys, that's not bad. Um, as you can see, each one has his own accessory, like Grimlock has his uh, translucent red sword. You got Galvatron here, another really nice detailed body with these uh, twin fusion cannons on his arms. And look at that face. That is a very mean looking face right there. <laughs> um, you got Lockdown with a standard blaster. Again, really nicely done. You can even see the Lamborghini logo on his chest. Which is a nice touch. And he's got his green eyes. And he oh, has a flip-down visor with a targeting scope on it. Really nice. And they do a lot for detail on these guys. His head doesn't transform into a gun, though. Oh, well. And then you got Optimus. Again, real nice uh, movie-style detail on his chest. He's got his uh, classic ion cannon, or ion rifle. And like all of the others, the helmet is removable to reveal a face. So they do have a face on this guy, which is cool. And, and instead of blue hands, they give him silver ones. This is a movie-verse version of Optimus, after all. So that's forgivable. And, yeah, looks really nice. The details are 
very nice up there. Um, and then you got Bumblebee, who, again, really good detailing on the chest. Um, nice face to him. They actually gave him a more human-like face. Uh, the chest detailing and the leg detailing is done very well. Looks like the movie model. Or close to it. Uh, yeah. These little uh, crayons are pretty sweet looking. I like them. And I like how Grimlock's actually modeled after his G1 self instead of the movie burst version. So uh, that is a nice little touch. So anyway, I think it's time we got to the big guy himself. So let's get to it. So now that we got Grimlock all built up and everything, um, I guess we'll just start with the parts count. Including the crayons, the uh, display stand, and the crown, uh, you got about 331 pieces with this set. And what you're seeing here is the lion's share of them. It's actually a really nice build, too. I do love it. Um, actually gets the feel of uh, G1 Grimlock quite well. From front to back, head to toe. And he actually stands pretty stable. And it it's a nice size sculpt, has a lot of articulation to it. And it takes about uh, probably one and a half, two hours to build. That's le at least that's what I clocked myself at. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice one. Um, let's get to his articulation. Uh, he's got ball joints at uh, top of the neck, bottom of the neck. He has an opening and closing mouth. And you can look left, right, up, down, all around. He's got ball joints at the um, shoulders, elbows, and wrists, as well as hinges at the fingers. Now, the way it's built is that. Two fingers are actually together, so each time you move a finger, it moves another one with it. Just the way it is. You can see those ball joints are really nicely done. Smooth, um, not too tight, not too um, loose. You'll be able to hold the pose just fine. Um, he also has ball jointed hips. So they got forward, backward, in and out, ball jointed knees. They actually have, so they had all the full rotation and all that. And then he has um, toes, two joints at each toe. You got one right here and one at the tip of the claw, which is nice. And you got a couple more at the back. So you got quite a bit of posability in the feet is a real plus. And then you got the tail, which has a ball which has ball joints at each segment. So you get a nice range of motion out of this tail. It's really good. And I do like that. Now the ball joints actually have like main ball joints, like the ones on the neck and the legs and the tail have a rubber coating over the balls. So that'll actually cause a lot of friction and um, keep these um, able to hold poses with ease. The only thing that's actually kind of loose is the top joint at the tail. And given the weight that this guy has to deal with, I can understand that. I mean, this is actually, there's no hollow bits in this guy. He's solid plastic. Like, well, as solid as a 
Lego brick can be at least. But there's a lot of bricks in this uh, main torso, so he's got a real solid build to him. Uh, there is no robot um, build for this guy, so you only get the dinosaur mode. Uh, he doesn't have any uh, robot hands or heads. It's unfortunate, but true. I think that's just the way they're doing it nowadays. Which works, I mean... Heck, to transform these guys, you had to take them apart and put them back together. I'm sure a lot of people didn't really find that all too fun. But we'll do a quick size comparison by putting um, Creo Grimlock with Masterpiece Grimlock. And as unfair as that may sound, it's actually a good comparison because Creo Grimlock is almost the same size as the Masterpiece. Like, uh, this one's just a little bit bulkier, a little bit bigger. It has more die cast in it. <laughs> but um, they're actually pretty close in terms of size. So it actually is a nice, um, high, like, nice scaled Grimlock. And I do like it. I'll take this out of the way. And get one more shot with his uh, little peons. And, well, another size comparison. We're going to put uh, this Grimlock with the freebie Grimlock from the uh, movie event list yesterday, which uh, looks more like Dinobot to me. But yeah. Very big compared to that little uh, freebie. But that's understandable. Let's get the little Creons in. See if we can get Optimus on top. Ah! No. Nope. We'll try this again. Yeah, there are no uh, standing points for Optimus to get on. You just kind of... If you can balance him... Great. But, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Get this one nice looking. Oops. And like I said, you gotta balance them on there. There we go. But anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this little review. And I'll see you next time. Take care, have fun, and bye-bye.